Hey, Todd, congrats on the country come back. I guess how happy are you that things worked out and was this kind of all, what you always wanted to do when the season ended is to return to Tennessee? Uh, appreciate it. Yeah, I uh, am very excited to be back and uh, love the love the team here and love the, the mentality and the, the culture. And so I can't I can't be more excited to be back. Hey, what did they tell you as far as uh, it's just like last last you're competing, try to be the best version of yourself you can be and just see what happens that they I guess they probably didn't make any promises as far as what your role is going to be. But what's your mindset? Yeah, I don't really worry about that. I'm just uh, worried about getting a little better every day. Um, so I just need to be ready to go when, you know, it's time for camp. And that's all I can do is be ready to go help the team over they need. So that's my role. Back. Hey, Ty, welcome back. Um, I, I know that it's that you're you're focused on on improving and, and being the best version of yourself, as you said, to, to help the team. But obviously there's going to be an opportunity on the right side of the offensive line without Dennis uh, around this year. Is is that something that, that you would be comfortable, you know, not just competing for, but filling in on the right side? I know it's kind of difficult to sweep to be a swing tackle. And, and I know you've done that before in your career. Yeah, I, I uh, just I just control what I can control. And I'm, I'm constantly preparing myself to be ready. Um, to go start if and when needed. And uh, I'm always kind of working towards that. But um, at the same time, you know, there are things that are outside my control sometimes. So it is what it is. Paul. Hey, Ty, uh, wondering uh, about your health. Uh, sorry, I missed the beginning there. I don't know if somebody threw that at you. Are, are, are you recovered and, and ready to go? I can't obviously dive into too many details, but I'm I'm almost there. It's been it's been a long haul, but I'm almost there. What did uh, what was it like to to kind of watch? Uh, you, you had your moment, um, and and there were a lot of games in front of you, and then you suffered the same fate that uh, that Lawan suffered. Uh, it must have been very difficult, and uh, and then also encouraging to see David do well. Yeah, it was great. Uh, I you know obviously playing in the the league as long as I have every year. Uh, is a storybook of injuries and, and storylines that kind of come about. So um, last year, obviously, we we got hit and, and both the both tackles went down and um, obviously losing Taylor's tough. And then Dave came in and played really well. Um, so it was nice to see there's no fall off, you know, with the guys you go to battle with every day. Thanks. John Glennon. Hey, Ty. Um, yeah, I guess two for you, I, I guess. What did you think of, um, you know, Del Dennis's release and, and uh, Kendall signing? And, and did that factor into your re-signing? Uh, and, and I guess the other one, I know you talked about this last year, just the, the challenge of, of, you know, being ready to play at either of those tackle spots. Yeah, I think, um, you know, free agency is always kind of a weird time of year for, for everyone in the business. Um, and, you know, it's tough, tough for a lot of people and it's great for a lot of people. Um, so I, I've never lost sight of that on both ends. So um, I'm usually just kind of concerned with myself. And like I say, just continuing to get better daily. Um, I'm happy, you know, obviously we're going to have 11 guys out there when it's time to go play ball. And that's, that's really all I can tell you. Thank you. David Beauclair. Ty, with, with you and Lawan and Quesenberry and now Kendall Lamb, you've got four tackles again who have caught touchdown passes in the league. I believe, though, you've got the most run after the catch. What kind of bragging rights does that give you? I think we're all in a, a pretty special group. Uh, I think we all kind of each have our own little little uh, story to tell. So, um, you know, obviously, mine's a memory I'll always have, and I'm sure theirs are as well. What's the story with that touchdown? What do you remember most from that moment and that feeling across in the goal line? Oh, it was, it was unbelievable. Um, it was exactly how I thought it would feel. I don't know how else to put it, but a lot of, a lot of thought into scoring a touchdown and it felt exactly how I thought it would. So that's all I can tell you about that. I don't know what else the hell else to put it. <laughs> Jim Wyatt. So Todd, do you, do you, did you stay in Nashville to kind of continue to rehab or what's, what's kind of your plan moving forward as you try to get 100% for the start of uh, football activities? Yeah, I'll be here getting ready for the season, um, you know, just kind of working through whatever this offseason uh, program is laid out by the PA and the league. So 
we'll kind of see what what happens but i'm ready for whatever whatever comes about and, and why is you in your mind do you feel like tennessee is the right place for you to be and, and i guess i'm kind of putting in your word in your mouth but i guess you wouldn't have signed here if that wasn't the case or why, why is this maybe a good fit for you here you know, I, first and foremost, I have a lot of respect and care for the, uh, the teammates I play with and the amount of work that they've put in to get here and that they put in on a daily basis to stay here. Um, and, you know, a lot of great guys in this in this locker room, great people and great players. So it was a no brainer to stay and, uh, you know, go to battle with these guys. Obviously love the coaching staff and love, you know, what we run and, and the mentality we play with. So I'm excited to be back. And last one from me. I mean Todd Downing was a tight ends coach last year. Now he's going to be offensive coordinator. What do you know about Todd? How do you like him? And how do you think he'll be in his new role? Yeah, I'm excited to see where uh, where Todd takes this offense. I know he has a great understanding of it, and uh, I'm I'm excited that we we uh, you know promoted from within and that we're going to keep the same family of, of football going. Buck. Yeah, Todd. Kind of kind of going back to the. Uh, the uncertainty about what this offseason and, and leading up into OTAs and things like that is going to be at this point. I know the league and the, the NFLPA are trying to figure out, you know, what the preference would be as far as virtual or in person. Do you, do you have a preference on that front? And and if are there any benefits to it being virtual for a for a vet player who's who's been through a couple of these uh, springs and training camps before? I definitely think there is value in not having to uh, put reps on guys who don't necessarily need the, the no pads OTA reps. Um, and I do understand that there's a need for young guys to uh, get experience in the system and get experience with players and coaches uh, in those systems. So I do understand that there's uh, discussions to be had on both sides um, in terms of the value of the off season. But I personally, as an older guy, uh, I think virtual off seasons are great. I think it's, you, you take care of your business, you be professional and you, you get the information you need. David Beauclair. Ty, the, it'd been a while since you'd played a lot at left tackle. What, what did, what did being on that side again, do for your overall game? Do you feel like you're, you're maybe a little bit better player now for that experience again? Yeah, it was nice to get back there. It'd been a long, uh, been a long time since I played left consistently, so it was, it was fun to get back there and uh, get games back to back and be able to kind of work, you know, techniques and, and things that would come up from week to week that I'd want to address at practice. It was nice to be able to get into that rhythm and feel it translate on game day um, with that consistency. Jim Wyatt. And some of the new guys that have been signed on the defensive side of the ball, uh, you know, Bud Dupree and Nico Autry, you have experience working against some of those guys. And, and what do you think they will bring to the defense as an offensive player? Right. Uh, both of them on film uh, as an offensive player, watching them play, they both play with aggressive, I would call it tenacity and motor. Um, they, you know, they finish third and fourth moves. They're not just kind of quitting. Uh, if their first or second move gets shut down and, and they both do that all over the tape. So they're both um, guys that, that flash with, with effort and energy, which I think is, is great um, on defense in all, all aspects.